My name is Ram Krishna. I'm faculty in mathematics, uh, plus one and plus one. Today we will discuss about uh, straight lines. Now here. Today we will discuss about the straight lines. Already we learn in lower sections uh, what about straight lines. Here indirectly this is nothing but a uh, line segment. The line segment means uh, which has two endpoints, and uh, this is nothing but uh, ray. Now this is nothing but ray. Ray means uh, it has only one endpoint. This is nothing but line segment. It has uh, two endpoints. This is nothing but line. It has no endpoints. This is nothing but ray. It has one endpoint. This is nothing but line segment. It has two endpoints. This is nothing but line. It has no endpoints. Already we learn in lower sections. Now what about a uh, ray? What about a uh, line segment? What about a uh, straight line? Now here this blackboard can be treated as a straight line. This blackboard can be treated as a straight line. In this uh, now this blackboard can be treated as a plane. In this plane. Uh, we take uh, two mutually perpendicular lines. Now this is uh, first line and this is uh, another line which are mutually perpendicular and which are intersecting at some point O. Generally this line can be taken as x axis. This line can be taken as y axis. Now here, now in this plane we take any two mutually perpendicular lines which are uh, intersecting at O and generally this can be taken as uh, x axis. This can be taken as y axis. Now generally this x axis is called horizontal line and this y axis is called uh, vertical line and also called uh, you take any line which is parallel to x axis that is called uh, horizontal line and you take any line which is parallel to y axis that is line is that line is called uh, vertical line. Now here friend, now here we now the we learn about uh, the definition of the inclination of a straight line. Now here inclination inclination of a straight line and based on this inclination we can define slope of the straight line and here so now here in this plane you take any non vertical line this is nothing but non vertical line this non vertical line makes an angle makes an angle theta makes an angle theta with x axis in the positive direction or anti clockwise direction now you take any straight line that is non vertical and that non vertical line makes an angle theta with x axis in the positive direction or anti clockwise direction and uh, this theta satisfies this condition 0 is less than or equal to theta is less than pi theta is less than pi then this theta is called uh, inclination of this non vertical line inclination of this non vertical line and uh, tangent of inclination tangent of inclination is called uh, slope of that line and uh, that slope of that line can be denoted by some m here this is nothing but the definition of the inclination the definition of the inclination and uh, slope of a non vertical line now here this is non vertical line and this non vertical line makes an angle theta with x axis in the positive direction and uh, this theta satisfies this condition then the theta is called uh, inclination of this straight line and the tangent of inclination is called a uh, slope of that line for suppose uh, this line is always coincides with x axis. This line is always coincides with x axis. In this case, theta becomes 0. Now, the slope of the horizontal line is nothing but uh, 0. That means uh, this line is always coincides with x axis. Then theta becomes uh, 0 degrees. Theta is always equal to 0 degrees. In this case, uh, slope of the horizontal line is equal to slope of uh, horizontal line. Slope of horizontal line is always equal to tan 0 degrees that means that is always equal to 0 and indirectly slope of horizontal line is 0 now this line is always parallel to this line is always parallel to vertical line now in this case theta is always equal to 90 degrees now in this case the slope of the horizontal line is nothing but slope of the vertical line slope of the vertical line is always equal to tan 90 degrees tan 90 degrees is always equal to not defined tan 90 is always equal to not defined from this data, now slope of the horizontal line means 0 and the slope of the vertical line means uh, not defined. Now in the same way, here, now in the same way, already we learn about two intersecting lines. Now this is the first line and this is the second line and this is called a point of intersection of the given two lines. Now this is nothing but x axis. Now this is nothing but origin. This is nothing but y axis. 
Now these two lines are intersecting at some point P and the angle between these two lines is equal to some theta. Some theta and inclination of the first line is nothing but theta 1 and inclination of the second line is nothing but theta 2. Then by using this uh, diagram here this is nothing but uh, a triangle. Now in this triangle this is external angle. These two are nothing but internal angles already we know. Theta 1 is always equal to now external angle is always equal to sum of these two internal angles. Now that means we can write from this diagram external angle means theta 1 that is always equal to we can write uh, internal angle sum of these two internal angles means uh, theta plus theta 2. Now this theta 2 which can be taken to left hand side then theta is equal to theta 1 minus theta 2. Now we are applying tan on both sides tan theta is equal to we can write. Now we are applying tan on both sides. Now tan theta is equal to tan of theta 1 minus theta 2. Now that means we can write tan theta is equal to this is in the form of tan of a minus b. Already we know the formula for that. And tan of a minus b means we can write tan a minus tan b by 1 plus tan a tan b. That means we can write tan theta 1 minus uh, tan theta 2 divided by uh, 1 plus tan theta 1 into tan theta 2. And here in this diagram, the inclination of the first line means uh, theta 1. And automatically its slope is nothing but a tan theta 1 that is always done by m1. Now inclination of the second line e means uh, theta 2 and uh, tan theta 2 is always equal to tan theta 2 is always equal to m2. Now tan theta 1 means m1 and tan theta 2 means m2. These two values substitute in this formula then we will get. Now that is always equal to tan theta is always equal to tan theta is always equal to what is the value of m? Yeah, tan theta 1 that means m1 minus tan theta value is nothing but m2 divided by 1 plus m1 m2. Now here in this formula, now in this formula, now we know, now in this formula, we know if theta is acute, acute means theta is less than 90 degrees, then this trigonometric ratio is always positive. If theta is uh, acute, then tan theta value is always positive. If theta is aptus, aptus means more than 90, then tan theta value is always equal to 90. And uh, that is always based on this. Now, these are any two intersect lines and which are intersecting at some point P. Now, this is the first line, this is the second line and uh, angle between these two lines is equal to theta. Automatically, another angle is nothing but uh, 180 minus theta. Now this angle is always same as this angle. This angle is always same as this angle. Now that that is also pi minus theta. And here for any two intersecting lines, uh, two angles are exist. One is uh, theta, another one is nothing but pi minus theta. For suppose uh, if theta is acute, if theta is acute, automatically another angle is nothing but obtuse. For suppose theta is obtuse, then automatically another angle is nothing but uh, acute. And indirectly. If theta is, uh, this concept is always based on like this. Now theta is nothing but acute. If theta is nothing but acute, then tan theta value is always positive. If theta is nothing but obtuse, now obtuse means more than 90, indirectly that is always belongs to second quadrant. In second quadrant, tan theta is always nothing but negative. Now that means we can write, that means uh, we can write, that means we can write, tan theta is always equal to, tan theta is always equal to, in the plus or plus or minus we can take a modulus that is always equals to m1 minus m2 divided by 1 plus m1 m2. Now this is uh, the formula for, this is the formula for angle between two intersecting lines is nothing but theta and uh, having their inclinations are nothing but theta 1 comma theta 2 then tan theta is always equal to modulus of m1 minus m2 by 1 plus m1 m2. Now based on this uh, formula, based on this formula, for suppose uh, there are two cases. Now here in this uh, formula, if theta is equal to 0, if theta is equal to 0 means uh, these two lines are parallel or coincide. Now here in this formula, there are two cases. In first case, now in first case, uh, if theta is equal to 0 degrees, if uh, theta is equal to 0 degrees, now that means 0 degrees means uh, the given two lines are parallel or uh, coincide, coincide. In this case, the condition is always equal to, in this case, the condition is always equal to M1 is equal to M2. And here, these, uh, the angle between these two lines is equal to 0 degrees means uh, the given two lines are parallel or coincide to each other then m1 is equal to m2 that means their slopes are equal now in second case now here in second case uh, if theta is equal to 90 if theta is equal to 90 means uh, 
the given two intersecting lines are mutually perpendicular in this case the condition is always equal to m1 m2 is equal to minus 1 m1 m2 is equal to minus 1 now this is nothing but the angle between intersecting lines intersecting lines and uh, they and uh, including their uh, inclinations next uh, <coughs> next uh, different forms of the now different forms of the straight line now different forms uh, of the straight line different forms of the straight line now first one is always equal to now first one is always equal to now general form of this straight line general form of this straight line means that is always equal to ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 ax plus by plus c is always equal to 0 here a square plus b square is always not equal to 0 now this is called uh, linear equation in x comma y this is called linear equation in x comma y this is called general form of this straight line in this uh, equation a square plus b square is always not equal to 0 now second one is nothing but now second one is nothing but uh, now two points form now second one is nothing but uh, two points form now two points form is always equal to now y minus y1 is equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 into x minus x1 and indirectly this is called uh, a straight line which is passing through the given two points first point is nothing but x1 comma y1 and second point is nothing but uh, x2 comma y2 next uh, third one is nothing but now third one is nothing but uh, point slope form now third one is nothing but point slope form point slope form means uh, now y is equal to y minus y1 is always equal to m into x minus x1 this is called equation of this straight line in point slope form now here now indirectly now the given equation now the equation of this straight line which is passing through the given point x1 comma y1 and having slope m and having slope m is nothing but y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1 next the fourth one is nothing but now y is equal to mx plus c y is equal to mx plus c this is called a slope uh, intercept form and in this equation m is called slope and c is called a y intercept c is called y intercept or uh, now here y is equal to m into x minus a this is the equation of this right line having slope m and uh, a is nothing but x intercept now what is the difference between these two means uh, now in these two equations m is nothing but slope of the line and uh, here in this first equation x c is called y intercept now c is called y intercept in this one a is called uh, x intercept a is called x intercept right in, gen in generally these two equations which are in slope uh, intercept form next the fifth one is nothing but the equation of this straight line in intercept form means intercept form means x by a plus y by b is equal to 1 here a is called in this equation a is called x intercept a is called x intercept and b is called uh, y intercept b is called y intercept next the so sixth one is nothing but now slope uh, now here is six one is nothing but normal form normal form is nothing but normal form of the straight line is nothing but x into cos alpha plus y into sin alpha is equal to p now here in this equation p is nothing but in this equation p is nothing but the perpendicular distance from origin to the given straight line and alpha is nothing but uh, inclination or uh, alpha is nothing but the angle made by the perpendicular now perpendicular with uh, x axis and indirectly the rough diagram for that is always equal to the rough diagram for that is always equal to this is x axis now this is y axis now this is nothing but origin now this is uh, the straight line now this is the straight line which is uh, in normal form that means x cos alpha plus uh, y sin alpha is equal to p now here in this equation what is uh, what about p p means uh, the perpendicular distance from origin to this line perpendicular distance from origin to this line that is always a small p and alpha denotes now the angle made by this normal with x axis in the positive direction here that is always equal to alpha now here this uh, p in this equation p is always uh, more than or equal to zero why because it denotes distance it's uh, now distance is always uh, positive or equal to zero but not in negative and uh, alpha is nothing but and alpha is nothing but satisfies this condition alpha is always satisfies this condition zero is less than or equal to alpha is less than 360 degrees means that can be written as 2 pi 
Now this is nothing but a normal form. Next, what about seventh one? Seventh one is nothing but symmetric form of this straight line. Symmetric form of this straight line means we can write x minus x1 divided by cos theta is always equal to y minus y1 by sin theta. Here, now this is called a now symmetric form of a straight line which is passing through the given point x1 comma y1 and having inclination theta. Here theta is always satisfying this condition. Now theta belongs to now open interval 0 to pi by 2. Open interval 0 to pi by 2. Union open interval pi by 2 to pi. Now here these are nothing but uh, different forms of a straight line. Now what about first one? First one is nothing but general form of this straight line. Ax plus by plus c e is equal to 0. That is called general form of this straight line. And that means this is linear equation in x comma y. And uh, this equation satisfying this condition a square plus b square is always not equal to 0. Now what about second one? Second one is not always equal to two points form. Now the equation of this straight line which is passing through x1 comma y1 and x2 comma y2 is nothing but y minus y1 is always equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 into x minus x1. Now here in this equation, in this equation x1 is always not equal to x2. Why? Because uh, if x1 is equal to x2 then this uh, y2 minus y1 and some value divided by 0. Some value divided by 0 means that is called infinity. Next, uh, point slope form. Point slope form means the equation of this straight line which is passing through x1 comma y1 and having slope m is nothing but y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1. In this uh, point slope form m is nothing but indirectly we can write tan theta. Theta is nothing but inclination of that line. Next, uh, fourth one is nothing but slope intercept form. In this first equation, m is called slope and c is called y-intercept. In second equation, m is called slope and a is called x-intercept. And the fifth one is nothing but slope. Now next, uh, fifth one is nothing but intercept form. x by a plus y by b is equal to 1. Here in this case, uh, now here in this case, a is called x-intercept and b is called uh, y-intercept. And indirectly, this line is always passes through, passes through a comma 0 and uh, 0 comma b. Means this point is always lies on x-axis, this point is always lies on y-axis. Next, uh, sixth one is nothing but normal form. Normal form means uh, the equation of this right line. The equation of this right line, which is at a distance p units from the origin and which makes, uh, that the normal makes uh, an angle alpha with x-axis in the positive direction. Here p is always positive or equal to 0 and alpha satisfies this condition. 0 is less than or equal to alpha is less than 2 pi. Next, uh, last one is nothing but x minus x1 by cos theta is equal to y minus y1 by sin theta. That is called symmetric form. And that means the required line is always passing through x1 comma y1. And uh, having inclination is nothing but theta. And theta satisfies this condition. 0 is always belongs to open interval. 0 to pi by 2 union, pi by 2 to pi. These are nothing but different forms of a straight line.